Hi, I'm Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Benches YouTube channel. This is the third in the series of my favorite, my personal favorite books that, um, that I like. And I've got loads and loads of books. I've got umpteen books up here, and I got quite a few in work as, as well. I'm in my home office at the moment. And I'm not saying that these are the only books that I like. There are loads and loads of books. In fact, all the books I've got up on there, apart from one or two, I absolutely love. But these are my favourites. The first film shows you the, the, the books that I had whilst I was in university and college to sort of help me through, give me the ideas, give me the inspirations. The next film sort of went into the books that I think are ideal for a jewellery beginner, the beginner's books out there. And there are new books being brought into the market virtually every single week, every single month. And I do try and buy as many as I possibly can, even though they are on about the most basic perhaps soldering or perhaps sawing or perhaps polishing, because there's always something that I can learn. And that is always, I think, really, really important. I know we've got the internet and we can get any information that you want on the internet, but I do like the good old fashioned book where you can sit down of an evening, get a nice book, a nice hardback book or a softback book, flick through the pages. I find that far better myself. Personally, you may not think so. You may want to get your Kindle or whatever you want to do, anyway, electronic reader. You may want to use the internet. But video is another aspect that I think people can really learn from. Hence, at thebench.com, our online jewelry website. Just thought I'd get that in before I go any further. So if you're new to the channel, please have dispatch. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up, recommend it to your friends, share it with your friends and so forth. Um, and smash that little bell icon if it's something that you're into and you want to be notified when films go live on our YouTube channel. So I have got, uh, I was only going to pick three books, but I do find it hard just to pick three books. I've got five books here that I feel me personally have helped me in my development as a goldsmith and a jeweler over the past 30 years. Now, I didn't mention this book right at the very beginning because I think it's a book, although it's really, really fantastic, it goes into an awful lot of detail and depth. Now, when you're a jeweler and you're just starting off, if you want to just crack on with it and get on with piercing, get on with sewing, soldering, fabricating, and so forth, you don't really want to know the ins and outs on how things happen and why things have happened. So that's why I haven't mentioned it until now. But as you develop your skill and your knowledge for me, I am so thirsty for knowledge, I will read the books uh, from cover to cover. I will try and understand every single thing about how something happens. The book that everybody raves about, I've lost the actual dust jacket, I'm not quite sure what happened to the dust jacket, is this one, um, Oppie Untracked. This is Jewelry Concepts and Technology, an absolutely brilliant, brilliant book, hefty, big, big book. It's got a lovely cover with a little round, um, something I can't remember what it is uh, but I think um, I bought this again close to 30 years ago and this was close to about 45 50 pounds then it goes into a lot of detail sometimes a bit too much detail for a beginner that's why I haven't mentioned it until now Oppie Untracked it's got loads and loads of black and white this one, loads and loads of black and white drawings goes into every aspect of um, <sighs> every aspect, everything. It is quite outdated. Uh, my copy here is dated, I will tell you now. Um, ooh, in 1982. I don't know, um, it's actually first published in 1982. Sorry, I do apologize, reprinted 1987. Now I don't know whether there's been a reprint since then, but Oppie Untracked, Jewelry Concepts and Technology, brilliant book. It's a, a lot of reading, but absolutely fantastic. But another book also that is similar to Oppie's is this one here by Professor Dr. Erhard Brepol, and it's called The Theory and Practice of Goldsmithing. Now, again, it's almost very similar to Oppie's book, um, and it, go, it goes into a lot, a lot of detail regarding sort of technology, um, chain making, um, soldering, brazing, piercing, cutting, casting, 
um, and so forth. And it goes into a lot of um, chemicals as well, um, how metals react to chemicals uh, and so forth. Another very, very good book. This was originally um, published in Germany, uh, translated by Charles Luton Brain and edited by Tim McCreet. So another very, very, very good book. Something that I always go back to, ref to refer to. Really good reference book. This one is, um, let me have a look. What date was this? Uh, 1994, this one was. This was the second printing, printed by uh, Bryn Morgan Press. So there's that one there, which I find, again, absolutely brilliant. Now, again, one of the books I had right at the very beginning, but I didn't mention it because I thought it was quite advanced, is this one. And I, and I picked books that, that are a little bit more unusual than what you normally see and people talk about. These are books that, that are out there, but they're not in people's faces um, by publishers and by authors that you may not have heard of. Now, this is a book by Charles Jarvis called Jewelry Manufacture and Repair. This version has a purplish cover. I did have another version that was a blue cover that was older than this, and I lent it to somebody, and I cannot remember who I've lent it to, that I lent it to a couple of years ago, and they haven't given it back, and I can't remember who it is. So if I've lent you this book in the blue cover, please may I have it back. Just get in contact with me, pop it in the post. I'd love to have it back. Can't remember who I lent it to. So this goes into, as you can see, jewelry, manufacture and repair. I love this book right at the beginning because it went into a lot of information regarding repair, which I was really, really into. Um, but it goes into all handmade jewelry, not your prefabricated, not your CAD CAM, not your cast, not your um, 3D resin molds, not Sintra, nothing, nothing like that. Because when this was written, there was none of that. And this was uh, first printed back in 1978 when I was a wee lad. And this is reprinted in 2005. But it's a brilliant, brilliant book. It goes into everything from real sort of how a workshop is laid out, although that is pretty old sort of workshop. Uh, it goes through, tell you how old this is. It's even got these orbs of water where the daylight comes through, goes through the orb to provide the light or the magnification. Yeah, really, really old. But I love this because it goes into everything being handmade uh, from uh, the most gorgeous, gorgeous cocktail rings. If I can find it, it is an absolutely stunning. Um, making your own, your own three stones, cocktail ring, um, goes into these brooches into these style brooches, how to make these brooches. Absolutely stunning, stunning book. Again, not a book that is really out there in people's faces. Charles Jarvis, during manufacture and repair, really do recommend that one. And now as you get more advanced, you can do your bezel setting and sort of basic claw work. I've chosen two books on stone setting. Stone setting, you can read all you want. But when it comes to stone setting, practice makes perfect. And that's the, what, what we say with everything. But the first book I bought on stone setting was by uh, Gerald uh, Wyckoff, Wyckoff um, called The Technique of Master Stone Setting. Very, very good book. Again, I will put all these titles down in the descriptions with a link to Amazon if you want to go and check them out. I don't know what cost these books are, so I do apologize, but check on the links down below in the descriptions. It'll take you to Amazon. There are affiliated links. So if you do purchase from those links, thank you very much. I do get a very, very small percentage of a penny or two from the purchase of these books. So thank you very much if you do that. And this is a very, very good book published in 1986. So still quite old, but all the techniques are still true today because everything really is, is all handmade. Everything is hand set. It goes through the types of gemstones, how gemstones are cut, um, the ideal um, proportions, the gemstone information. It goes through all about um, aquamarine, which is a beryl. Go and see beryl. Beryls, uh, their hardness is 7.5. They're insoluble in acid, so they won't dissolve in acid. Nice to know. Um, and it goes through all different types of stones, um, tells you their composition, um, their weaknesses, their flaws, their pros, their cons. Goes through some tools that you're going to need for stone setting. Uh, flex shaft hammer, mill grain tools, starter kits. And then it starts off then with your general skills. 
and it just goes through step by step step how to cut claws oh gosh and you dropped it how to cl cut claws how to uh well prongs as you american guys call them uh, the best way of shaping them the best way of dividing them the best way of firing them the exact sort of percentage that you're going to need how much claw comes over a stone there's lots of information channel setting it even ends up with buffing and polishing reverse setting uh, cabochon setting and it goes it is a brilliant book i do love it one of my first stone setting books the techniques of master stone setting by gerald l is it wickoff i'm never any good with names and the last book that i would also recommend i think this was my second book on gem setting that i bought um, is bead setting diamonds with parve applications this is a guy uh, called uh, wooding an absolutely brilliant brilliant stone setter robert wooding has written lots and lots of books on the stone setter really really awesome and i know he also produced some videos now remember those the old videos the vhs videos i've actually got one or two of those videos and i've also got some dvds of his as well that have been transcoded from video to dvd and we'll come to that in another film i've also got dvds uh from um around the world as well that i will go through in another film but again very very good book by robert woodham it goes through all, again all that you need for stone setting how to prepare tools how to harden your tools how to put your gravers in your graver handles how to sharpen your gravers introduction uh, laying out designs which is very very important on getting the actual space in working on spacings uh, cutting the bearings goes into bead setting uh, tri let me show you triangular without getting the uh, copyright here a uh, star setting bright cutting uh raising grains parve applications on plates oval clusters um the whole thing exactly how to do it inspecting the setting inspecting the casting if you bought it designing the layout uh putting the layout into place making sure there's enough metal between the stones to raise the grains bright cutting and so forth again an absolute brilliant book b setting diamonds with parve applications by robert wooding another brilliant book so those are the really good books that I love and those sort of books are my go-to books there are lots of other books that I do like and I may just pass the camera over all these books just to show you all the books that I've got because there are hundreds of books up there and I've chosen those books because those books as I've just said are not out there they're not in the public eye they're not by all the popular or the authors you've got books by um, Alan Revere absolutely brilliant and I've got his books on the shelf as well I haven't brought them down because even though they are brilliant books people seem to know Alan these books are slightly unknown and they need the recognition as well as all the modern books those are the books I love I love my books I will reference them all day every day if I'm not sure on how to lay something out how to um, I, don't, I don't know bead cutting want to get the right size bead into what is the right size bead into for a particular grain for instance that sort of thing all those books will tell you that although you may be able to get that on the internet I do love sitting down of an evening with my core core <laughs> sit down feet up get your book nice and warm and just browse through a book there is nothing better than sitting down and just checking out the latest jewelry book that's hit the bookshelves. So there we go. Those were my favorite books for the jeweler who is that bit more advanced, who wants to know about the more advanced techniques and so forth, how metals move, the compositions of metals, acids, alloys, and that sort of thing. Absolutely brilliant. Check them out in the description. Like I said, there are affiliate links. So if you do happen to buy the books, from those links i do appreciate it thank you very much indeed so if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing smash that bell icon if it's something that you're into and you want to be notified when films go live on our youtube channel don't forget check out at thebench.com our online jewelry training website i'd love you to join up there um all that remains is for me to say uh, take care i'll see you on the next film bye bye